Welcome to Raj Online Trainings. In the series of this Hibernate 6 version tutorial, in the last video, we have created this Hibernate 6 project using Maven tool and we have added the project dependencies. What dependencies we have added? Hibernate core dependency with the latest version 6. And even we have added this MySQL connector dependency in order to connect to MySQL database and we have taken the latest version 8. And once we add these dependencies, it's going to add the dependency jar files into the Maven dependency of your project. So these are the jar files got added into our project. Today in this video, uh, we'll be seeing how to create Hibernate XML configuration file in which we are going to do the database connection properties. We are going to load the database connection properties and even we'll discuss today we'll see how to create the session factory for that we'll be creating one hibernate utility class and we will test our application by creating one test class so that is the objective of today's video let us create the hibernate xml configuration file first so where we are to create Hibernate XML configuration file is under this Hibernate 6 project under SRC main resources we need to create the Hibernate configuration file XML configuration file. So just right click on this SRC main resources and you can say new other choose the XML file under XML choose the XML file say next go with the name i'm going with the name here hibernate.cfg.xml extension what we give for this configuration file is .cfg.xml click on finish button now we need to take the template of this configuration file you can even get the template from google just if you search for hibernate xml configuration file you can get the template copy the template and paste it over here the root tag of Hibernate XML configuration file is Hibernate configuration. Under this, we need to go with a sub element session factory. In between the session factory, we need to load the database connection properties here. We have to mention the database connection properties. Just to use the element here property name equal to Hibernate dot connection dot driver class. As we are going to connect to MySQL database, the driver class to connect to MySQL is com.mysql.cg.jdbc.driver. The next property name equal to hibernate.connection.url. The URL here is jdbc colon mysql colon slash slash localhost colon 3306. This is the port number where MySQL server is running and we have to provide the database name, the schema name. In our case, it is Hibernate 6. Go with the property name Hibernate.connection.username. The username in my case is root. Property name equal to Hibernate.connection.password. In order to connect to MySQL, the password is root in my case. So these are the database connection properties. Now save this file. Now after creating this configuration file, our next step is we need to load this. We need to create this session factory. By creating the session factory, it is going to load this database connection properties. So in order to create the session factory, we need to create one Hibernate utility class. The meaning of utility class is a reusable component so that we can use that utility class in some other Java applications. So for that, under SRC main Java folder, right click and say new package. Go with the package name com.hibernate6.utility. Click on finish. Now, right click on this package com.hibernate6.utility and say new class. Let me go with the name of the utility class like 
hibernate utility click on finish button now in this class hibernate util go with the properties like private static standard service registry by using the standard service registry only we are going to get the session factory standard service registry registry go with one more property private static session factory session factory Create a method public static session factory get session factory. When we invoke this method, it's going to return the session factory object to us. Let's check it here. If session factory equal to null, if the session factory has not been created, now let us create the session factory. Go with the try and catch block. Exception A, A dot print stack trace. In the try block, create reference of this registry, registry equal to new standard service registry builder. Dot configure dot build. Can import the packages. The shortcut to import the packages is Control Shift O, which is going to import the packages for us. Let me even mention here shortcut to import Java packages. That is Control Shift O. Now create this standard service registry builder. To this, we have to call the method configure dot build. So when you call the method here configure, it is going to take this hibernate.cfg.xml file. So implicitly it is going to take what file here? Hibernate.cfg.xml file. We are not providing any configuration file name. This is the name what it takes by default. If the name of the configuration file is something like xxx.cfg.xml, then we have to provide this name explicitly. If it is hibernate.cfg.xml, we need not mention the name of the configuration file. It is going to configure the file automatically if the name is hibernate.cfg.xml. Now, after creating the registry, the next step is we have to go with met metadata sources. Metadata sources. Sources equal to new metadata. So this we need to pass the argument registry the next step go with metadata 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 equal to sources dot get metadata builder dot build the next step session factory Session factory equal to metadata dot get session factory builder dot build dot build. That's it. So this is the way to get the session factory. Then after completion of this if statement, just to return the session factory. Just return the object of what session factory. So this is the piece of code we need to write in order to get the session factory. So which is whenever we call the method of this Hibernate Util class get session factory, it's going to load all these database connection properties and all the database connection properties are now present in this session factory reference. That only we are returning over here. Now, save this file. Let us test this application. What we have done up to now? We have created the Hibernate XML configuration file and we have created the Hibernate utility class, which is which contains a method get session factory. 
whenever we call this method get session factory which is going to return the object of session factory now let us test the application for that let us create one package form dot hibernate six dot test click on finish now in this package create a new class hibernate test with main method now, now the first step is we need to get the session factory how to get session factory session factory session factory equal to hibernate util dot get session factory so this whenever you call this method hibernate util dot get session factory which is going to return the object of session factory now by using this session factory we have to create the session we have to open the session 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 equal to session factory dot open session so this session factory is used to load the database connection properties and this session is used for session interface is used for doing the database transactions like inserting updating deleting like that now now let us check whether our uh, hibernate is working properly or not let us execute one of the sql command a basic sql command uh, that is we want to know the version of mysql which has been installed on our operating system so for that let us go with the string version equal to session dot create native query create native query session dot create native query and here we are going with the query that is select version select version all the method get single result as we are going to get only one single line of result we are going to call the method get single result now whenever you call the method create native query the written type of this method is object but we are trying to ascend to string so go with the type casting now so what are the version you are using the command this command will return the version of my scale which has been installed on our operating system now display the value of version you can display here mysql version take the value of version here that's it now so the file run this application right click and say run as java application so which is going to show the version of our mysql that is in my case it is 0 0.8.0.29 right so what we have done in this video today we have created hibernate xml configuration file the root tag of hibernate xml configuration file is hibernate configuration in the in between the session factory element we have loaded the database connection properties and we have created one utility class by using this utility class we can get the session factory and we have just tested our application by creating one hibernate test class where we have just executed a simple mysql command so for that we are just using the session dot create native query and we are using the command select version which is going to return the version of mysql in the next video uh, we will be seeing how to create one pojo class the entity class and we'll be creating the mapping between our pojo class with the database table using hibernate xml mapping file and we are going to test our application we are going to insert the object into the database table so this part we'll be doing in the next video thank you all please subscribe like and share